Eternal Companion, help us pour out your, our hearts to you, honestly and sincerely. With these prayers as our guide, help us feel close to you, dear God. Life makes warriors of us all. To emerge the victors, we must arm ourselves with the most potent of weapons. That weapon is prayer. Actions, no place too far. First tell me this, is there some secluded spot in the vicinity where I can go to pray? Rabnachman asked. He had just arrived in Breslov, the town whose name the Breslov movement has borne ever since. I know of a place that would be most suitable, the Hasid replied, but it's quite far from here. Far, the Rebbe exclaimed, what do you mean by far? Far from the mind or from the heart? Reb Nachman later taught, when your ya heart yearns, distance is no obstacle. And praise my God, I work and I strive, never knowing if I will succeed. You and only you can give hope to my dreams. With your help, I am spared wasted efforts. With your blessing, all hardship I endure can bear fruit. You and only you are the key to success in all that I do. Courage to grow, almighty God, source of all the energy of life. Without you, I am helpless. Give me the courage, the physical drive, the emotional energy, and the spiritual will to risk in order to grow. To welcome every challenge as my life unfolds. Full life. O oh, life of the world, grant me a full life, a life which may be considered long because it has been filled with right living, and considered rich because it has been filled with holy acts. Making ends meet, source of all sustenance, sustain me nowadays, or even living simply, working only to acquire life's most basic necessities, demands so much. In the black, help me see my way out of this monstrous tangle of debts. The inevitable outlay for my children's needs, those overwhelming expenses and bills, those inescapable medical expenditures, but most of all, dear God, help me keep my account with you in the black. Body and soul, Holy One, grant me the strength to cast off the spiritual sluggishness and indifference which encumber my body, let my body together with my soul soar ever closer to you. Teaching by being, dear God, teach me to embody those ideals I would want my children to learn from me. Let me communicate with my children wisely in ways that will draw their hearts to kindness, to decency, and to true wisdom, dear God, let me pass on to my children only the good. Let them find in me the values and the behavior I hope to see in them. Wholeness and well-being, God of wholeness, God of healing, envelop us with wholeness and well-being. Heal us in body and soul, let all the elements of our bodies work together in perfect symmetry, and in peaceful harmony remove every trace of illness, every hint of infirmity. Send the healing which you alone can bring. Sincerity, O oh, you who are infinitely deep, yet also profoundly simple, help me walk this simple path. Free me from any facade of sophistication, which will only hinder my endless quest to come closer to you. Help me live my life with faith, with sincerity, and with perfect simplicity. Giving, my God, help me become a giver. Help me give and go on giving. You've called on us to be charitable. Show me how. Show me how to give with a pure heart. With an open heart, with a heart filled with joy, let me... Lead me to those who are truly deserving, for giving is so holy an act. Help me find the truly needy and help them find me. True nourishment, dear God, teach me to eat right and to eat for the right reasons. Keep me from eating the wrong foods and from eating more than I should. Let all that I eat nourish me, never weaken or harm me. Let the food I ingest create a perfect balance within me, in my body, mind, and soul. Gaining perspective, dear God, I need your guidance. Bring perspective to my life. For the meaningless allures of this world control me. Let me see beyond the coarse requirements of my daily subsistence. Let, my, let me bask in that which is truly precious and the beauty of my relationship with you, dear God. Working to live, though I have no choice but to work to support myself and those who depend on me. 
but my job never dominated my life and psyche. Let me never be so caught up in the pursuit of my livelihood that I stoop to dishonesty in order to get ahead. Let me make no transaction without recognizing that any measure of success I might find, I can come only from you. Oh God, see my pain. See the constant tension and anxiety with which I must function, with which I don't function. Touch my life with your love and your strength. With your wisdom, I have more than I can bear alone. Troubles. Kind, loving, mighty God, stretch out your hand to strengthen me. Lift me up from my abyss. Right my wrongs. Turn my every failure into success. Look upon all my troubles and say enough. Priorities, O oh God, help me fix within my mind the enduring truths of life. Let my every action be directed towards life's ultimate goals. For how can I face you, my creator, without having invested all my days in preparation for that moment when I will meet you? How can I face you, source of my life, so long as I remain naked and barren, mired in the fantasies that form the substance of life's illusions? Living to the fullest, dear God, as I age, as hours turn to days. Days to weeks and weeks to months and months to years. Let none of my time be wasted or lost. Let me use my life to the fullest to become the person I am meant to be. In thanks, dear God, all the good I can do in this world will never match all the good you've done for me. All my acts of kindness will never equal all the kindness you've shown me. Even all the gratitude I can muster will never suffice to express my appreciation and thanks to you, my God. Words, Reb Nachman's Mantra. I want to pray, to tell God everything I'm going through, and to ask for help. Hasid explained to Reb Nachman. When I'm finally alone and try to pray, the words don't come. Then Rab, Na, Rebbe assured him, even just calling out to God, Ribbono Shalolam, again and again is extremely beneficial. Once when informed that someone was able to recite a thousand pages of Talmud, Reb no son responded, Yes, that is impressive, yet there are those of the Rebbe's followers who can repeat the phrase, Ribono Shalolam, a thousand times. In praise, Master of the Universe, you listen to the anguished cries and desperate walls of every one of your beloved children. You hear my incoherent cries. You comprehend my jumbled words. I try my best to reach you with my inadequate prayers. I call out to you, and you understand. Prayer, God of life, help me pray with all the force I can muster. If only I could invest all my energy into each word, even into every letter of my prayers, I know that it would give me renewed strength, renewed spirit prayer to the Almighty is my life, says the psalmist. Please help, please help me pray. Crying out to God, oh, how I want to cry out to you, God of strength, to cry undistracted, and with a pure heart, help me pray with all my strength to raise my voice in resounding supplication until my own prayers strike my mind like thunderclaps and refine the innermost recesses of my heart. One true word, O oh dear God, for once let me call out to you with one true prayer. Let me think one pure thought, cry, one genuine cry, pray one absolutely sincere prayer to you, dear God. Prayer for healing, God of wholeness, God of healing, hear our words, accept our prayers, send a special blessing of healing to my son or my daughter or my mother or my father, among all those of your children who are in need of your healing blessing. Openness, dear God, I want to open myself to you wholly, perfectly, and sincerely. I want to tell you about my doubts, my certainties, my weaknesses, my strengths, my failures, my successes. Breaking down the barriers, God, I want to break down every barrier that separates me from you. I want to lay out before you the parts of myself I'd love and the parts I despise, the parts of myself that are healthy and the parts that need healing parts I feel secure enough to speak of and the insecurities I haven't the courage to share. Crying and sighing, the years have brought more pain than ever I imagined possible. When I cry, loving God, let me cry only to you. When I sigh, let that sigh be a pure, honest expression of a soul yearning for your light. 
crying and sighing, let my cries and sighs heal me and restore me and bring me to joy. Let me never again succumb to bitterness or depressing thoughts of God. Show me life's meaning. Effective words, God of wisdom, teach me the right words. Teach me the very words that will touch the hearts and souls of others. When a friend needs my understanding ear, teach me the words to say that will strengthen, that will encourage, that will express only my love and concern. Effective silence, God of wisdom, teach me to relate to others with words they need to hear, with words that will never misguide. Teach me, dear God, that often the most effective words are no words at all. Teach me how and when to communicate with that most potent gift of silence. Sensitive speech, God of understanding, guide me for my own words sometimes baffle me. When I relate to those around me insensitively, when I hurt, embarrass, or insult them, when I speak with a callousness that causes pain, when I lose myself in my own ego, God, pull me back to reality, help others understand that I too am in pain, and let them be forgiving. Harmful words, O oh God, help me avoid every abusive speech, let no one true word escape my lips. I pray that I never speak badly of others or speak empty words of flattery. Help me stay away from profanity. Teach me, dear God, when to keep silent and when to speak. And when I speak, O oh God, you save me from using your wonderful gift of speech to humiliate or hurt anyone. Lies, ruler of the world, grant me truth. Spare me from the lies of others. Help me stop myself from lying to others. Save me from lying to myself, and spare me from the lies of my own illusions. O oh God, never let me live a lie, even for only a moment. Holy sounds, O oh God, your creation resonates with holy sounds. Let me hear them all. Let them penetrate my heart and rouse my senses. The jangle of a charity box, the voice of a faithful teacher, even the intonation of my own sigh when I cry out to you, all oh, these sounds are holy. O oh God, let my heart hear them, and all be uplifted. In thanks, God, ever my only support. You've taught me to pray, to sigh, to cry, to awaken true, meaningful words from deep within, words that strengthen, words that ease my pain and heal my wounds, words that dispel darkness. Thank you, God, for opening my lips and for teaching me to seek you through prayer. Feelings. Praying for what you need, Reb Nachman taught. When it comes to praying for what you need, there is nothing too insignificant to ask of God. Reb Nosan once happened to mention to Reb Nachman some minor convenience that he was lacking, then asked God to give it to you, the Reb advised him. I was completely astounded, Reb Nosan relates. I would never have considered turning to God for something so trivial, which in any case I could have managed without. Noting my surprise, the Reb added, Tell me, is it beneath your dignity to pray for something so minor? No matter what you need, the best thing you can do is pray for it. In praise, dear God of compassion, your mercies are with me always, every moment of my life. With each breath I take, only you can love me so completely, so unconditionally, so profoundly. If people care for me, it is only because you care for me. If any of my words find their way into the hearts of others, it is nothing more than a reflection of your all-encompassing presence in my life. Compassion, loving God, you who are full of compassion, teach me to be like you. Teach me to be kind and generous and loving, just as you are kind and generous and loving to all your creations. Please help me develop true sensitivity and genuine compassion toward everything in creation. Joy, God, I stand between and battered by the countless manifestations of my own inadequacies. Yet we must live with joy, overcome despair, seek, pursue, and find every inkling of goodness, every positive point within ourselves, and so discover true joy. Aid me in this quest, O oh God. Help me find satisfaction and a deep abiding pleasure in all that I have, in all that I do, in all that I am. <clears throat> positive attitude. Merciful God, let me experience your mercy. Save me from pessimism, from bitterness, and from cynicism. Help me overcome my negative feelings. Help me avoid every form of arrogance, every hint of greed. Loving protection. Loving God. Protect
protect me with your love. Prevent others from viewing me with hostility. Never allow the negativity of others to influence my life or affect my destiny. Seeing the good, oh good, it is always so simple to find the evil. The ugly, the bad, help me learn to discount all that is negative in the other. Show me the goodness, the beauty, the kindness in everyone I meet. The power of love. Teach me to search for the fine qualities in others, to recognize their immeasurable worth. Teach me to cultivate a love for all your children. No one, no one is without redeeming value. Let the good in me connect with the good in others until all the world is transformed through the compelling power of love. So made, O oh loving God, so many in your world live without true love. So many cannot find their soulmate. Have mercy on them, O source of all love, that every lonely and incomplete soul know the wholeness of being that comes when one finds one's true love. Living in love, God of mercy, God of love, it is sometimes difficult, so painfully difficult, to sustain a harmonious home life, to maintain a marriage based on true friendship and love. Let never a hint of argument, frustration, or suspicion cloud our relationship. We need an extra measure of compassion to understand and care for one another with genuine sensitivity and with open acceptance. Let abundance, abundant peace fill our home. Peace, God, help me learn to cherish peace, to pursue peace, to promote peace. Save me from the need to be always right, which leads only to tension and strife. Oneness, God, help me forge a oneness between myself and others. Between myself and my spouse, between myself and my children, help me forge a oneness of the many selves within me. Help me become one with you. <clears throat> Learning to wait, God of patience, teach me patience. Help me learn to wait for the good that is just around the corner, for the assistance that will soon be within my reach, for the relief that is just a moment away. In a calm, patient God, teach me to be patient, unruffled by those who anger, tolerant of those who exasperate, accepting of those who disappoint. Help me remain serene in the face of derision, calm in the face of provocation, composed in the midst of a storm, and God, teach me to be patient with myself. Forgiving, forgiving God, you alone know how urgently I need to learn to forgive. Help me douse all the anger that burns within me. Free me of resentment against those who have wronged me. Help me abandon all the animosity, all the hostility that clogs my heart. Help me turn my anger into love and my en enmity into compassion. God, I never want to become angry. Protect me from my own passions. Don't let me lose myself to small-mindedness. Resentment of others guard me from turning my temper against anything or anyone, even and especially against myself. A peaceful disposition teach me, O oh God, to seek only peace. Save me from every form of argument, controversy, and quarrel. Liberate me from every type of misunderstanding and strife. Where there is no peace, there can be no joy, there can be no love, there can be no true presence of mind, dear God, let me be mine to share. Contentment, dear God, save me from wanting what is not mine. Protect me from my own jealousy, from desiring the money or the possessions, the position or the honor that belong to another. Let me trust in you enough to believe that what is meant to be mine will come to be, will come to me. Let me trust in you enough to be satisfied with all that I have today. Self-esteem, dear God, let me feel close to you. Grant me satisfaction with my life. Let me rejoice in that closeness, and let me turn with that satisfaction into a sense of self-worth, not one based in arrogance or in feelings of self-importance, but a humble self-esteem rooted in holiness. Arrogance, dear God, free me of false pride, free me of the arrogance that accompanies an inflated self-image. Spare me from haughtiness, from the overloaded ego which stems from an empty self. 
Let me learn to feel good about myself. Let me never feel the need to belittle anyone in order to find value and worth. In order to feel valued and worthy. A haven of joy. Teach me the meaning of joy, dear God. Strong, deep, genuine, and pure joy. Don't let me succumb to feelings of sadness, loneliness, and depression. Teach me to turn to you with my every problem, frustration, anxiety, and pain. Accept my broken heart. Heal me and shelter me in a haven of joy. Clapping and dancing, dear God, stir my heart with a spirit of joy. Imbue my arms and my legs with that spirit. For my arms are encumbered and my legs have become heavy with my wrongdoings. Fill me, my God, with the cleansing spirit of holy joy. Enliven all my limbs. Help me raise my hands and clap. Help me lift my feet and dance, dance, dance. Overcoming loss, dear God, suddenly I'm alone, I'm in pain. As I search for some source of comfort, the world, the world so full, so bustling, seems so empty now, it's cold and it's frightening. In this hollow that is me, in this hollow that once brimmed with confidence and joy, God pulled me back, back to the world of the living, back to a life of action and human relationships. In thanks, loving, caring, God, all that happens in fulfillment in my life come only from you. Knowing how absolute in my dependence on you, I find peace of mind, your presence suffuses my life, caressing me with hope, joy, and love. I've tasted your love, I've known your compassion, I've experienced your patience, and I am filled with gratefulness. Thoughts An entirely new world. It is impossible to describe how wonderful it was in those early years, Reb Nachman said to the Hasid. They were strolling through the outskirts of the village where the Reb had spent the first years of his marriage worshipping and serving God in relative anonymity. With each step I took in these fields, praying and calling out to God, I experienced yet another taste of paradise. On another occasion, Rebbe Nachman described what it was like returning home after a day spent crying his heart out to God in the fields or forest. Coming back, everything appeared different to me. The world seemed entirely new. In praise, O oh God, I only begin to realize how very much you've done for me. I must now internalize the understanding that everything that happens to me, everything is an expression of your everlasting love, of your concern for my ultimate good. God, as I recognize all your goodness, as your kindness fills my thoughts, I sing your praise. Light of awareness. God, let me comprehend all that I see with the light of awareness. Let me understand whatever touches my life in a deep and intimate way, in a way that embraces both the adult and the child within me. Enveloped in faith, my God, you and only you know how strongly I want to believe in you, to put all my faith in you alone. Help me make this desire a reality. Help me perceive your presence and draw strength from it. Every moment of my life, through every trial I face, let that recognition bolster my faith in you wherever I go, whatever I do. Accepting God's justice, God, help me see. Help me understand all that I see in the light of your truth and the light of your ultimate justice. When I see the success of the wicked, help me realize that it is but an illusion. Nothing authentic, nothing real. Real success, true good, absolute happiness are found only with you, dear God of truth, and one day I will see it, experience it, and know it. Overcoming doubts, my vision is distorted. Loving God of truth, I want to see clearly, but my heart leads me through twisted, convoluted paths of misunderstood impressions. Straighten those paths so that I can strengthen myself in the conviction of my beliefs. Learning life's lessons. Dear God, at my heart, grasp the profound wisdom with which you created the world. Help me understand that life's difficulties are, in fact, her opportunities. Life's endings are also her beginnings. Life's disappointments are her finest teachers. Learning life's lessons, dear God, let my heart grasp the profound wisdom with which you created me. Help me understand that my vulnerabilities, in fact, open me to growth. My limits draw me to new frontiers. My very failures teach me to succeed. Perceptions, body and soul, holy one, grant me the wisdom to bring harmony to the alliance of my body and soul. Let them rise together in my devotion to you. My soul perceives your light. Let my body discern it too. My soul sounds your praise. Let my body sing it too. Focus prayer, oh dear God. 
I want to pray, but the distractions are never ending. Please help me overcome them, help me be wholly focused for once, help me pray only true, totally heartfelt words to you, dear God. Wise counsel, O oh God, how can I make my way through the confusion and uncertainty that clouds so much of what I do? Guide me to wise teachers and mentors, whose advice is pure and in tune with your will. Guide me to true friends whose counsel is caring and promotes my best interests. Guide me to clear correct decisions to conclusions that are sound and free of all doubt. Clarity and assurance, O oh God, grant me clarity and assurance in whatever I do. Teach me to trust in wise teachers, to learn from their insightful words, to teach me to trust in true friends, to treasure their care and concern. Teach me to trust in myself, to judge my own course correctly, and so to live with conviction and hope. Seeing light and darkness, God of unfathomable goodness, the history of human agony haunts my soul. Ashes, blood, and cries pierce my heart. Diabolic schemes of oppressors plague my mind. Grant me an extra measure of strength, understanding, and faith to help me find you, to discover your light amidst the blinding dread through the revolting horror. Sorting through confusion, God of truth, help me sort through the dizzying confusion of my life. My mind swirls with all that I've seen and that I've read. All that's happened to me, teach me to focus, to prioritize, to see with clarity, so that I can move on with my life. A humble spirit, dear God, guide me along the path of sincere humility. If I ever put on airs, stop me. Bless me with a humble spirit, with eyes that see only the good in people, with a mind always open to others' opinions, with a heart who's caring of their concerns. Teach me to humble myself even before the lowliest of your children, whose very brokenness brings them closer to you. Finding good. O oh, loving God, help me discover and uncover all that is good, all that is positive in the world. Camouflaged though they may be, let me find those elusive sparks of holy light. Let me perceive all the beauty and truth hidden within your creation. Finding good when I am confronted with baseness and evil, let all the bad fall away before me, let all the good and goodliness that lies hidden within everyone I meet shine forth and emerge as a grand reflection of beauty and light. Losing control, oh how much good I have lost in losing control of my anger, such a large portion of my life. So much growth I've let slip from my hands by allowing my burning thoughts to get the better of me. God teach me to let go. Maintaining perspective, oh God, please help me comprehend that life in this world is fleeting. Hardly more than a fantasy. At this moment I am here, as are those around me. Where will I be? Where will they be? In an hour, in a day, in a year, or in ten? Help me hold in my mind an image of the world that awaits me, of the life eternal that will follow my stay in this place of momentary fascination and reverie. And thanks my God, it has taken me time. But I am finally learning to trust you when I called, you answered, and when I cried, you sent relief. When I was in need, you came through. You are there for me in every instance. I need only look, think, and understand, and I can always find you. There you are, to always ready to help. Thank you, God, for waiting for me. Will, wanting to wait in one of his most powerful statements, Rebbe Nachman unequivocally characterizes the facet of the human psyche which functions below the threshold of consciousness. A young man was bemoaning the difficulties he was encountering in his attempts to come closer to God, but I really want to be a good Jew, he insisted to Rebbe Nachman. But, said the Rebbe, do you really want to want? And praise God, you've given me the physical, emotional, and spiritual will to overcome so many obstacles that have risen before me. How many times have I faced what I perceive to be impossible, hopeless situations, and withstood them, and discovered creative solutions through which to surmount and master them? You've strengthened me again and again. I know that you will never fail me. 
In God's will, merciful God, I know how very much you care for me. You've made me in accordance with your will. Why then don't I always want to be that which you've made me? Why do I so often fall short of all that you want me to be? In God's will, God, I want to be so many things, to do so much, to achieve so endlessly, but can anyone be ever th everything? Do everything, have everything, you alone understand the fragile balance of my soul. You've invested in me the potential to make of that balance a perfect creation. Now help me fashion myself into just such a creation, in accordance with your will. Overcoming negative traits, oh God, help me perfect every element of my humaneness. Help me overcome all my negative traits, all my evil motivations. Teach me to turn bad into good. Building good traits. Traits help me grow. Teach me to strive for a soul that is pure and flawless. Let my every characteristic be impervious to evil. Surely then I can hope that I, in my very humaneness, might merge with the holiness of your existence. Perfection of a soul. God... Perfect soul, you created me destined for perfection. How far have I wandered from that destiny? How much of my purity have I squandered through careless, thoughtless, self-centered behavior, behavior wanting immorality and holiness? The soul's recovery. There must be a way I can regain decency and virtue. There must be a way I can recapture the purity and perfection of my soul. God, lead me there. Don't turn me away. Open your hands and welcome me back. The gift of free will, God of wonders, you've given me the most wonderful of all gifts, the gift of free will. May my will never deviate from your holy will. Guide me always so that all the choices I make are good ones, choices that are in harmony with your will as long as I live. A world of responsibility, architect of the world, author of her story, grant me the courage to participate in the world's design, to join in the unfolding of her story. How I want to share in the responsibility of this world, to pray for her welfare, to care for her needs, to safeguard her treasures, to work for her rectification. Self-renewal, dear God, teach me to begin anew, to renew myself along with all the creation, just as you renew the entire world each day. Show me how I can break free of the constraints of my habits, the restraints of my insecurities, the shackles of my unwarranted fears. Fresh start, teach me, dear God, to make a fresh start, to break yesterday's patterns, to stop telling myself I can't where I can, I am not when I am, I am stuck when I am eminently free. The way home, center of all existence, help me find the way to that sacred sanctuary within myself, to that precious center of my existence. Help me discover my place in the world, that space where I truly belong, that space which belongs unconditionally to me. Dear God, I have wandered for so very long. Help me find my way home. Healing my life, dear God, what a mess I have made of my life, a hopeless mess. How will I ever right all that I've wronged, restore all that I've ruined, fix all that I've destroyed? Only you can help me, dear God. If you don't help me, what hope is there? Help me and heal my life. Reaching for wholeness, compassionate God, healer of my body, healer of my soul, heal me, strengthen my ailing body, soothe my aching heart, mend my shattered existence, make me whole. Rejuvenation, master of the world, you know the bitterness of my anguished heart, of my painful wounds, of my afflicted soul. It is more than I can bear, I beg you. Soften and sweeten the bitterness. Give me strength and courage, for my remedy too must certainly be bitter. My rejuvenation will not come easily. Heal of all, heal me. Measure of eternity, eternal God, grant me a measure of eternity. Lend me some permanence to this temporal life of mine. Grant health, happiness, and long life to my children and to their children, and as long as they live, some part of myself will survive, something of me will live on in this world. Give me life, dear God, and life to those who come after me. Children, loving God, what is more precious than our children? Is there any treasure that can be more beloved, more pure than those cherished souls we have brought into the world? Help me guide them well, dear God, and help them accept my guidance. Help them lead their life with faith, wisdom, and truth. Letting go, dear God, help me grow old with dignity and wisdom. As the twilight years cast their shadow upon me.
Help my mind remain clear at peace with the world and with itself. Let me learn to let go of my bonds and with this world, of my need for honor and status, of my attraction to physical indulgences, of my envy of others, of my regrets over all that might have been. Ageless aging teach me God to live out my days, focused on all that is meaningful in life, and its unaccountable aches and pains multiply as memory and retention fade. Teach me to relate to my physical existence with an ever-expanding recognition of its transient nature. Teach me to relate to my soul with an ever-expanding awareness of her eternal nature and ageless worth. Approaching God, my soul thirsts for you. O、oh、God, will I ever deserve to feel you beside me? There are so many obstacles that keep me from being what I want to be—a good person, a God-conscious person. But only I myself can change this. Help me make the effort to come closer to you. Help me long and yearn and strive for your nearness. True to self, my God, teach me to be true to myself. Never let me be swayed by the approval or the disapproval of others. Help me learn to depend on no one but you, and to look nowhere but within to come to know my true self, that person I really am. In tune with God, O、oh、dear God, be with me and help me strive to come close, to be fully committed to you. Let every part of me, physical, emotional, and spiritual, join in focused determination to fulfill your will. May my thoughts, my emotions, my words, and all my actions be wholly in tune with you. And thanks, O、oh、God, I can never thank you enough for leading me toward the path to wholeness in life. You've shown me how to make my desires akin to your will. The way to rectification and renewal, to deep solace and healing, to meaning and eternal tranquility, is only through actively seeking your will. Thank you, God, for leading me to that understanding.